I'm inserting myself in. On today's ninth episode of the Chandler build series, I finally make some real progress getting the new braces in and getting some of the old junk cut out. We're gonna get right into it because I'm still nursing my foot. Let's get to it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take this old beat up weather stripping off and measure at the pillars to kind of get an idea of how far this body might be widened out or widening out. And at that point, I'm gonna have to build some braces and actually get this stuff sort of structurally solid because I'm going to have to start peeling things apart before it cut too much more. I was going to have to replace this stuff anyway and it is definitely seen better days. I'm fairly sure if I can take a couple measurements of these pinch welds it'll give me a fairly good result side to side at least consistent I'm hoping unless I see major damage to these but these should be a pretty hard structural piece sturdy stuff. That sounded weird. Didn't expect that to be so bouncy, but one piece off and do the other doors. I went ahead and made this graphic and modified it to show the doors being removed. These are the points I chose to measure from. And these are the measurements I got at each of those points. It'll give me a reference when I actually start to put the body back together. All right, it's time to start using these tubes I got from Alro to make the braces for the interior. So I'll start cutting them up now. First one's gonna go in front of the cowl and firewall area in the cab, or in the interior, I should say. It's not a truck. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this tube out and cut it. I'm using my Chambler based sawhorse. It's the only space I have left in the garage and it should work fine. Get that in a minute. I'll go ahead and grab the marker cap I dropped and I'll start cutting stuff. See how the bar fits. There. I cut them a little bit smaller. I'm going to put ratchet straps at the bottom of the rockers and pull them in, which should put a little more pressure on the bars. The bar is also going to sit back at the edge and line up basically with here. This should give me one of the strongest points in this part of the car. And I'm going to go ahead and use these tubes, which I'll cut to size, of course, and a plate. Too long right now, which well, hell, you can't see anyway. I move the camera. What I'm gonna do is make two legs for each one of these crossbars. Then the body wheel will sit on this. I can cut the rest of it free, position it against the Cherokee chassis, get everything as square as I can, and then I can start to kind of square everything up and start putting sheet metal onto it. That's the plan. It should work. Out, out. Out. Same thing with this bar, it's a little undersized. I'll use the ratchet straps to pull it in. It's a good, straight, flat, strong surface right here. Then I'll position a plate and tack. Then I'll position the legs and get this area locked in as well. I'm not 100% sure we're going to position the third bar yet. I think it's going to go in front of the package tray, right over the rear wheel wells. I think that's a strong part of the car. I'm afraid the very back is just too damaged to do it there because of the way that the trunk flooring is. We'll see as I'm going. I'll probably figure that out before I have my friend come over and help me line this up a while. Well, my friend's gonna come and help me Sunday. Today is, you know, hell, I think about it. Today's Thursday. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is everything else I can do before I separate the body from its craptacular mounts, which is figure out where I'm gonna cut along here. I don't wanna deal with any of the rust. I'm gonna have to make the wheel wells bigger anyway. So I might as well just trim it. I'm gonna try to make it even side to side, I think I'm going to pick up a point where this brace stops, which is right about here. I'm going to check both sides, and when I start laying out the mark to cut it, I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and try to pound this dent out before I go too much farther. This is on the driver's side. 
I wasn't able to knock the dent out, but I believe the way I'm gonna cut it, it's gonna be above it anyway. I just need to make sure that I'm marginally straight here. Yeah, that's straight, sure. Unfortunately, most of my cuts are probably not gonna be singular cuts. They're probably gonna be, oh, I need to adjust this or adjust that. And the panels I'm gonna put back in here are likely gonna be patches and different sizes and because I can only shape so much and there's only so much I can do with my seal level. But let's see how this lines up with the other side because that technically is going uphill. Okay. That is actually closer to the other side. It still makes a nice tune. Straight's relative with this car. I don't think anything on here is really straight or level or square. Or pick, your, pick your term, it's not it. I don't have a good way to measure from the bottom to the line. So I'm measuring from the top down and it's pretty darn close. This upper line is actually correct. It was correct the first time. I'm glad I remeasured everything. This gives me the confidence to go ahead and cut the center out. What I'm gonna do is come up, over, and down again. I'll likely start cutting them down here. I'll be able to get to the front of the fender and the back of the fender when I have the brace in. I won't be able to get to this section, so I'm gonna do this section now on both sides. There is not a lot of space in here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a starter hole or two to allow me to get the saw blade in here. Both sides cut, not the straightest cuts in the world, but I keep having to cut things off in strange locations where I'm upside down and sideways, so I will take it for now. The frame rail structure runs along here underneath. I've measured it out. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area off this insulation because I need to be able to put that foot down here and weld it in place for the upright support for the legs. <laughs> I'm going a bit overkill on this. I'm not exactly sure where their pad's gonna land, so I'd just rather do this now so that when my friend comes over to help, it's not anything he has to wait for. It's just ready to go. I've got the two spots of the V-pillars to grind clean marked out. All cleaned up. And both of the rear spots are prepped and ready. Start leveling everything out of the middle work my way forward and then do what I need to in this back area. This is less crucial than the front and the middle, at least right now. I've got the chassis levels it's gonna get. It's less than a 16th in rear, less than a 16th in the center, and a little heavier than a 16th in the front, out side to side. With the equipment I have and the setup I'm doing, I'm gonna call that fantastic. You know, without having a chassis table, I don't even have a level concrete or anything to really secure it and prevent it from twisting or moving in the cold temperatures and changes and everything else. I think that's fantastic. I'm gonna measure from the roof down to the crossbars I make to level the body, the chassis. I'm not sure else I could do it with as messed up as the rocker and some of the other body components are. I believe that's gonna give me my best chance of getting this thing square, level, and safe. I'm gonna use the ratchet strap to put a little tension and keep the bar in place and I should be able to start measuring things and my friend will be here in a little bit, so hopefully this all goes smoothly.
cross braces are in, a huge thank you to my friend Ryan. That helps me out immensely. Now I can finally start pulling these braces that he put in here. Get the body squared to the chassis and start putting them together. That's all three braces in. I don't believe the strap's in here in the very front, but I don't think it's gonna work out at least for this middle one. I need the room to go ahead and cut this tubing out, so I'm gonna release the strap gently. I'll start cutting those tubes. No funny movement, which is great. Went ahead and started the cut with a cutoff wheel. I don't feel confident enough doing it through the whole tube in case everything shifts and it pinches. I don't want it blowing up my face. Oh, that was fun. Take a quick look at this. Now it's cutting an angle. That's my fault. there's something in the bottom and or it's pinching so let's start this again in a couple minutes i didn't see anything pinching so i'm gonna try a longer blade maybe it's just a little too short but we'll see how it goes <laughs> Sorry about the camera room, there's not much I can do. Yeah, there's still a lot of tension on this sucker. When this comes loose, this body could shift a bit. So, cross your fingers. I'm crossing all my fingers and all my toes. you so I don't get this smacked into my camera. One beam out. Oh that's gonna bleed. Oh, son of a... oh yeah that's there's metal in my hand now. That's fantastic. Got a floor jack underneath it. I did a little bit deeper cut with the cutoff wheel so let's see how this does. Hopefully it's a little better. than I thought. I'm afraid to put it up much higher than that. There's no tension on this at all. This shouldn't have closed up. I don't want to put any tension on this bar. It's definitely strange. Yeah, 
This is very strange. <laughs> I have no idea how this thing is measured on. It's very, very, very weird. If I'm lucky, the way to its pipe wrench will actually keep this separate so I can cut the darn thing. We will see. It's just so damn weird. Oh, there's a giant crappy bolt. Oh, good God. Okay, that'll be step next. I'm gonna lower the jack down, let this sit back down on the feet, make sure everything's good, make sure the little bottle jack is in place, and we'll start moving forward. This body was under a ridiculous amount of pressure because these braces were straight and now they're kind of cockeyed. Still have a lot better than what was there. Now I can show you what these look like. He actually bolted these on and it's going to be a little hard to see. It's hard for me to get enough of an angle in to show you. And then it sort of looks like he welded the head of the bolt on. So it's going to be interesting trying to get these out. Not really sure what they're even into. I don't bring them just not in the sheet metal. We'll find out together in a minute. Not sure why there's staples in there, but whatever. Ow. Well, I know that bar's in there solid because it just smashed my head. Sorry if this is a little washed out in the light. I've got to have light to see what I'm trying to do here. I don't think the vice grips I have are large enough to get a really good bite on this. I might have to do more sawing. Don't try it. Yeah, don't try this at home. It's not gonna work anyway. I think I'm gonna have to just cut this whole darn thing off and just deal with it. I'm gonna try the passenger side because it looks like the bolt's in a little bit better shape. So I'll get you over there in a second. Yeah, I don't think this side's gonna be any easier, but... I don't, I just don't know. I don't, uh, I'm not even gonna claim to pretend to understand this. Commence hurting myself and... Uh, maybe not. Uh, it was gonna happen, it just was delayed. Yeah, it's gonna pop off in a second. I'm gonna get a pipe wrench. Maybe that'll make it a tiny bit easier. Or at least it'll make it faster for me to hurt myself. I'll figure it out in a minute. I'm probably not actually losing it. I'm probably just making myself a lot of extra work for nothing, but. I think it's actually loosening itself. You just never know what you're gonna need when you're customizing a car or uncustomizing a car. Now the fun part, I wonder what he used to bolt this into the rocker. We'll find out together. Well, I'll find out now, you'll find out in like three weeks, but you know. The spirit's the same, we're finding out together. Just not at the same time. And we're almost gonna find out. Hey! 
He used the existing seat belt hole in the rocker to mount the, those cross braces. That actually isn't a horrible idea, it's just badly executed. Let's see how much fun I can have taking the driver's side off now. Well, let's see if this trick works over here. Oh, that'd be a note. I actually got it to move, sorry. I turned the camera off for a second. Wait for it. Hey! Put this bolt in here and sort of booger weld it. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. That's enough of this crap for today. Ooh. There's those pesky bars. Still not sure what they spell yet. We'll hopefully figure it out when we take the back ones out. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there for this episode. The next episode is going to include a lot of the final pieces and the little things that have to come off. And then we're going to start moving the body around try to get everything squared. Appreciate y'all following along. Let me know if there's anything you want to see, anything you want to see me do, anything you want to know about my cars. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Definitely want to hear as much feedback as you guys want to give me, and I'm always looking for new suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you next week. So will he. That's my ex. I'm going to go ahead and stop it.